Hello, 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 welcome, welcome. Come on in, come on in. Yeah, you, come on. <laughs> How is everybody today? That's really nice to know. You got rain. Ah. I'll let you into secret, so have we. <laughs> and you got sunshine. Oh, I'm delighted to hear that. We've had some fabulous weather. In fact, we had a fabulous weekend last weekend, didn't we, Dale? Oh, brilliant. I didn't want to come back. The sun shone, <laughs> and we took the opportunity to take a few days back on to Morning Star. Yeah. And we visited, well, sort of the cut along between the marina and Bronston, didn't yeah. we? Oh, great, yeah. Wasn't it great? Beautiful. The weather was wonderful. We the sunbathed. Sea, the scenery was wonderful. It was, and it was a great... We've we seen all the boats going past and the wildlife and birds of prey. It was brilliant. I loved it. I didn't want to come back. You didn't want to come back? You know that. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, we'll be but gone. I had to. <laughs> we'll be gone very soon and we will be back on Morning Star. We've still got a commitment down here, as most of you already know. Um, but we'll deal with that uh, in the future vlog, I'm sure. Now, we went, while we were there, to Bronson Church, didn't we? Yeah, up through the fields. Up through the fields. With all the sheep. <laughs> and we're going to tell you all about what we saw. In this week's vlog, so um, come join us and we'll we'll go climb the hill together. Good luck. Well, here we are at uh, Braunston, and um, over there is a great big hill. And on top of the hill is a church with a spire. That is All Saints Church, Braunston. And Carol and I are going to walk up that hill now and go and investigate. Uh, join us, why don't you? So, All Saints Church, Braunston, otherwise known as the Cathedral of the Canals. And uh, this dates back probably to as far as 1774, when a child named Francis Hollinshead was baptised. And the child's father, also named Francis, uh, was listed as a navigator, which suggests that he was a navvy working on building the canals through the village. And because of the explosive growth in the canal system, um, there was a huge population growth also in Braunston. And a separate boating community grew up in the village it became a tradition, Braunston, All Saints Church, where boat people would come to be buried, to be married, and to be baptised. Now the history of this beautiful church uh, goes back to the Norman period. It is believed that uh, previous to that, it was used as a prehistoric burial site probably because of the elevation and the way that it stands overlooking all the surrounding countryside. Now, according to tradition, a murder was committed in the First Norman Church in 1290, which meant that no services could be performed there until a new church was built. That new, ch new church was not built until the 14th century. One uh, very interesting fact about this church is the bell tower. Now, bells have rung in this Bronston church uh, since uh, 1552, uh, when it was stated there were four bells in the tower and a sanctus bell. 
1672, these four bells were recast into a ring of six by a Woodstock bell founder. But unfortunately, that didn't last too well, and they had to be redone again in 1849. And uh, these new bells were, were re-hung and are still in use today. Sadly, we never got to hear the bells while we were there, but we did hear them when we were moored up on the moorings, and they sound delightful. I think there was a wedding going on at the time. There are several uh, features which date back to the 14th century within this marvellous uh, church building. Uh, there's a very impressive tomb with an effigy thought to be William, 4th Baron Ross, who died in 1352 while on a pilgrimage to the Holy Land. Now, the Ross family themselves held the manor of Braunston between 1200 and 1508 and they obviously paid for this uh, effigy to, and tomb to be placed in the church and it d depicts a knight in armour with his logs, legs crossed and with a rosette between his feet. This amazing uh, crocketed spire on Braunston Church is some 150 feet tall and um, can be seen from many many miles away and is illuminated at night up until uh, I think it's 11.30 uh, it was when we were there it's an amazing sight just to look at and I find it very very fascinating as I'm sure you will uh, with its uh, design and construction this uh, is a picture of the tower mill of a tower mill and it was built in circa 1800 and used for cereal milling i.e grinding it stopped wor working in 1895 and was converted to a house around 1920 and we're moored just down there <laughs> and there's a lovely carol she came to and uh, which is just as well because there was quite a steep bank to climb because being Ian and Carol we went the long way all the hard way Hey, there you go. I, 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 hello. Come back. Can't wait for you to do it. Oh, you wanted me to do it? Yeah. All right, Tom. <laughs> uh, I've completely lost track. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> yes. And, and, and on the way back from a Bronson Church, we walked down the field and we bumped into our old mate Gromit. Or Sean. No, that was his brother. Oh, yeah, that's mm. right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we had the most amazing time there. Mm. And it was... I don't know what it was about that particular weekend when we were away. Apart from the weather being great, but the, the church just dominated the whole weekend, didn't it? Well, yeah, when we moved to that spot. It did. Yeah, and, and changed... He did, and the spire. I am totally cool. fascinated by that. I spent hours looking out the porthole at that. Yeah. And at the end of this vlog, there are a few uh, photographs that yeah. we took which haven't appeared in this week's um, vlog, which we hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Next week, we will be back to cruising because I know a lot of you enjoy the cruising. Um, but it was great, wasn't it? Yeah. Absolutely great.
I like Braunston. You do and like all Braunston. Round, and the countryside. Yeah. Yeah. It's lovely round. It's, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. And we didn't get bitten too much either, did we? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> so it was great. Um, wow. Well, that's it then, I guess. Until next week, we... Um, We've got another, as I say, we've got the, the continuation of our, our, our trip. And we will very shortly be on our second part of the summer cruise, which takes us down the Canal of Hell. To find <laughs> out about that, you need to find, oh, yeah. to follow our vlogs. <laughs> and if you've you not already... Watch that. Yeah, you do. Yeah. <laughs> if you've not already subscribed to our channel, please do so by uh, clicking the subscribe button. And a ring the bell if you want uh, YouTube to notify you when we release a, uh, a vlog. Uh, thank you to everybody who supports the channel in whatever way you do. We love your comments and we really do appreciate uh, you missing us as, yeah, as we're away from the canal. But yeah. we, we will be back very soon. We've got a great little cruise coming up and you'll be joining us. Yeah. And it's going to be exciting. Uh, but we'll tell you more about that when the time comes. So until next week, please look after yourselves and stay safe. Stay healthy and um, enjoy what's left of the summer if you're in summer. Unless you're in Australia, of course, uh, when you're in winter. And I hope it's not too bad for you. So from me, Ian. And me, Carol. It's a tell her for me. I nearly lost the hat. <laughs> and we look forward to seeing you all next week. Yeah. So take Thank care, everybody. Bye bye. Bye.